So why launch vehicle is important to carry a satellite successfully into the orbit? As earlier uh, I told you guys about the satellites. So now here I can include some statement. As you people are the satellites, and we all teachers are your launch vehicles. With the help of teacher, you people will reach successfully into the into the orbit. Malla, you people will succeed this examinations. Within the launch vehicle, if you check guys. So launch vehicle technology equally important. Within the launch vehicle, fifty percent weight of the launch vehicle is own weight, and another fifty percent weight is the propellant weight. Is what that is a. Propellant weight. So, fifty percent weight in the launch vehicle is the own weight, and another fifty percent is what that is a propellant weight. So, fifty percent is the own weight, and another fifty percent is the propellant weight. Own weight means main instrument and devices. Those are running a launch. Those are you. Those we are using to run the launch vehicles. So many instrument and devices. Those we are using to run the launch vehicles. What are these? See guys. What are these? See. Accelerometer. Gyroscope. C loop system. Even these, all the names are not required. But these are the various payloads. Those people are using in the launch vehicles: accelerometer, gyroscope, C loop system. Accelerometer is responsible for acceleration of launch vehicle time to time. Gyroscope provides a direction to the launch vehicle. Even gyroscope uh, used in many video games also. Gyroscope is also used in the Okay, even uh, aeroplane are also getting the direction with the help of gyroscope. So gyroscope are useful there. C loop system is a total programming. It's a total programming. On that basis, a launch vehicle is working. So C loop system is total entire program. It is an entire program of launch vehicle. Accordingly, the launch vehicle carry the satellite at different different height in different different ways, guys. So, but again, I repeat, these name will not be the requirement of UPSC exams. So, here I will not suggest you people remember this. But yes, fifty percent weight have instrument devices, you know that type of them. What are the propellants? Propellants are the sum of fuel plus oxidizer. What is the propellant? Propellant are the sum of fuel plus oxidizer. Fuel those burn. Fuel those burn. Oxidizer those are responsible for the burning of fuel. You know, school time we read. In the school time, we all people read. Oxygen is necessary for the burning of fuel. But you tell me, guys, upside. Is oxygen available? Definitely, will tell me no. Tell me, is oxygen available upside? Of course, no. If oxygen is not available, how uh, launch vehicle carry the satellites? Launch vehicle will come back. Up to certain height with oxygen available, launch vehicle fuel burn, and that will come back. That is the reason within the launch vehicle, we must have to carry oxygen compound. That is the reason oxidizer is must. And this is the reason within the launch vehicle, propellant is the correct term. You know, at the time of discussion of LPSC, liquid propulsion system center, I told you the propellant is a kind of fuel. And now here I am going to clarify, propellant is actually fuel plus oxidizer. So propellant is actually the combination of fuel plus oxidizer. Everybody remember, 
Okay, fuel plus oxidizer. <coughs> now come. Okay, now come. So oxidizer, oxygen compound, those are necessary for the burning of fuel. And see one thing more. One thing more. Not only launch vehicle, even in the case of missiles, can I repeat? Not in the launch vehicle, even in the case of missiles. Okay. Also, propellant is the correct term. Because missile is also going from across the Himalaya. You are just suppose you are going to launch the missile through a missile from India to China. So it's going to across the across the Himalaya. Oxygen is not there. How the fuel will burn if oxygen is not there? That is the reason either you call launch vehicle or you call missiles. Everywhere have enough extra oxidizer, those we are using here. So everywhere have enough extra oxidizer, those we are using here. Okay, those we are using here. So fuel plus oxidizer. It's a launch vehicle. Ab now we come into the discussion of, I think you people very clear with the concept of the launch vehicles, propellants and all. And 50% why the weight is huge weight, of course guys. And this is the tension even the 50% weight of the propellants. Reason, reason, reason. You people are going to carry around 36,000 kilometers. People are going to carry around 3 lakh kilometer Chandrayaan. People are going to carry around 400 lakh kilometer Mangalyaan. Tell me, in between, any new petrol pump is there? If any petrol pump is not there, so is there any chance of refilling? No. So if no chance of refilling, so you must have to carry the huge amount of mass of the weight of the propellants. If huge amount of mass or weight of the propellant, they will not carry. So how it can make a mission successful? This is the reason. You must have to follow. This is the reason you must have to follow huge amount of huge mass. Okay, so you must have to follow huge mass here, guys. Okay, so you must have to follow huge mass. <coughs> now come. So I'm very sure everybody clear here. Okay, everybody clear here. So it's overall about the own weight and propellant weight. Now come generation of launch vehicles. Now come into the generation of launch vehicles. Generation of launch vehicles. So, given generation of launch vehicle. Coming to generation of launch vehicle first. First generation launch vehicle. This is called as a SLV. First generation launch vehicle is called as a SLV. What is SLV? SLV is the satellite launch vehicle. SLV is the satellite launch vehicle. Second generation launch vehicle. That is ASLV. What is ASLV? This is augmented satellite launch vehicle. So as I'm writing here, please note down. Augmented satellite launch vehicle. Come on next. Third generation launch vehicle. It's a PSLV. What is PSLV? PSLV is what? Polar satellite launch vehicle. And next one is a fourth generation launch vehicle. This is GSLV. What is GSLV here? Geostationary 
satellite launch vehicle. So it's a overall generations. It's a overall generations. First generation launch vehicle, second generation launch vehicle, third generation launch vehicle, and fourth generation launch vehicle. So satellite launch vehicle, augmented satellite launch vehicle, polar satellite launch vehicle, and geostationary satellite launch vehicles. I'm now come here into the detail of the launch vehicle. See guys, that's all the launch vehicle you have seen. See, satellite launch vehicle is a four stage launch vehicle. Satellite launch vehicle is a four stage launch vehicle. Augmented satellite launch vehicle, it is the five stage launch vehicle. PSLV is what? It's a four stage launch vehicle. And GSLV is what? This is the three stage of launch vehicle. So this is three stages of launch vehicle. So first generation launch vehicle, satellite launch vehicle. Second generation launch vehicle, augmented satellite launch vehicle. Third generation launch vehicle, polar satellite launch vehicle. Fourth generation launch vehicle, geostationary satellite launch vehicle. So these are the stages. Stages. I'm now come here, guys. Stages just here one, two, three, four. S S S S S S means solid nature of propellant we are using here. S means solid nature of propellant we are using here. One, two, three, four, five. What is the meaning of ASLV? Five, one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> solid nature of propellant we are using here. So solid nature of propellant we are using here. Four generation, solid, liquid, solid and liquid. What about third stage, three stages? Solid, liquid and cryogenic stage. Here have totally different as you write down. Those are mentioned on the board. 